so my name is Rosie. I'm, we're, we're super excited to be here on behalf of Bristol Myers Squibb. I'm a UC patient myself. And the goal of the Supporting You with UC program is really to encourage people with UC um, and their loved ones to start talking about their symptoms. And the website supportingyouwithuc.com has a lot of resources, treatment options, and it's a really great place for people, uh, for patients and family members to go to find consolidated and trusted information. So I was diagnosed with UC when I was 19. Um, I was in college. I was playing collegiate soccer. I was also playing international soccer with the New Zealand national team. Um, so from an outsider's perspective and in, in the peak of my health um, and fitness and um, to be diagnosed with a chronic illness at that age was a very bizarre and startling thing. I had never heard of UC before. I didn't know anybody in my family that had experienced it. So it took me a long time to kind of come to terms with the fact that I was going to have to be dealing with this for the rest of my life. Um, and I think I tried to put those symptoms to the back burner because I was so focused on performing athletically. Um, and it's a super hard and embarrassing thing to talk about. And so I think throughout my 10 year journey of going through um, having ulcerative colitis, I've learned a lot. And to me, the biggest thing that I've taken away is to be more honest and open um, in talking about my symptoms with my loved ones, with my support network, with my coaches, telling them what's going on um, to kind of take the burden off myself and not add extra stress and anxiety. And also talking to my healthcare professionals about exactly what is going on, all the nitty gritty, all the stuff you don't really want to talk about um, so that you can find the best treatment option um, and not just deal with these horrible symptoms. Because I think, yeah, it took me a long time to realize that the goal is really to to find remission and to be symptom free. And that's the goal of treatment. So that's my biggest takeaway is to start talking about it um, to normalize it, I guess, in some ways, um, and for patients to start feeling comfortable um, and know that they're not, they're not in this by themselves. I'm Dr. Abraham, a gastroenterologist, and I specialize in taking care of inflammatory bowel disease patients, including those with ulcerative colitis. Again, super excited to be here with you to discuss this topic. So ulcerative colitis is a type of inflammatory bowel disease that's a chronic disease that can affect the large intestine or the colon. It can cause inflammation ulcers in there. And patients that have this disease end up having symptoms such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, blood in the stools, or urgency or rush to go to the bathroom. And patients of all ages can be affected but most commonly, the typical age when patients get diagnosed is between about age 15 to 30, the young adulthood. Whereas you can imagine someone having a chronic disease starting so young in life to deal with it for the rest of their lives. I think uh, that is the the key is is it's a partnership. Um, it's it's constant communication um, and honest and open communication. I think going into your doctor's office and and being completely open with them is the best thing to do. It took me a long time to do that because it's not easy. But you realize that when you're talking to a gastro a doctor, um, they deal with this all day every day, and nothing is going to shock them. So I think that partnership and that honesty is really important. Um, and trying to find there is so many treatment options. So trying to find the best solution for your lifestyle um, for your what's going on in your specific body. Um, so I think it's it's not a, a one fix wonder. I think talking to your gastro and being open about it is the key. Well, I can tell you when I first started practicing gastroenterology, we didn't have very many options. Right now, we have significantly more treatment options for our patients. That means that we have the option to discuss uh, the method of treatment, such as IV infusions or subcutaneous injections or just oral tablets um, to take care of their disease. So when we are discussing these multiple options, I like to personalize it to our patient, to the patient that's actually sitting in front of me based on their preferences, their their disease severity, their location of their disease, and find out what will work best for their day-to-day -day life, their routine lifestyle, and choose accordingly. You can go to supportingyouwithuc.com to find all of that information.